Hello, my name is Luke Kralik and I'm the Organizational Coordinator for the CSLP. Um, today I'm going to be talking about how to put the CSLP artwork on a cake. Um, before anyone gets too excited, um, this won't be a baking show. I'm going to be talking about how you can use, you as a CSLP member library can use the CSLP artwork on promotional materials to help promote your library and your community. And that includes putting artwork on a cake. Um, so maybe a more um, descriptive title for this tutorial would be a quick introduction to the rules of use, um, but that wasn't really as catchy. Um, so before we begin, I, I, I want to show you where you can find the rules of use. And the rules of use can be found on our web page. Um, that's cslpreads.org. And you don't have to be logged in to access the rules of use. Just on that main tabs at the top under membership and sponsorship, you can find the rules of use just right at the top. And before, you know, I don't really, I, I would encourage you guys to kind of read the rules of use on your own. Uh, we're not going to go through them line by line because that is not good radio. Um, but you can download them on a PDF and print them right up, or they are available here on the website, um, just in kind of website form. And so, you know, why do we have them? Well, the number one reason, um, since CSLP, uh, owns the rights to the artwork. Um, as a copyrights holder, we're responsible for protecting our intellectual property. Um, and in order to do that, we do have to provide rules um, to make sure that not everyone can use the artwork. Um, it doesn't do us any good to have intellectual property if it's just uh, a free-for-all. We can't really benefit from it. Um, the other thing that the other reason we have, another reason that we have uh, rules of use is to keep us in good graces with our vendors. Um, when we sell our licenses to, you know, uh, our t-shirt providers or our, our, our bookmark providers, they're relying on having, um, you know, they pay a licensing fee and they're relying on us to protect that artwork so that they're the only ones who are benefiting from uh, the purchase of that license. However, we also have them, you know, we've got a, I think we've got some really uh, well-written rules to help you as public libraries um, uh, benefit from, from being a member of, of the CSLP. Um, so one thing that they allow us to do is, is we can bring additional value to our communities with that artwork. Um, you know, we can use the artwork to promote our own libraries. What we really want to kind of steer everyone away from is kind of duplicating things that we sell in our catalog. Um, but you can use them to create flyers or calendars or promotional materials. Um, the other thing that I think is really kind of a, a neat thing is you can use your CSLP membership status to uh, partner with a local school or nonprofit and allow them to benefit from them as well as as one of your partners. Um, so it could be a really good way to kind of start a conversation with your local school, maybe include them on some of your promotional flyers, or if you uh, put together a partnership agreement with your school, with your local school, that can be a great way to kind of outreach to them and have kind of a little incentive for them to partner with you because we do have, you know, kind of the beautiful CSLP artwork um, and, and you as a public library can, can partner with a school to allow them to use the artwork as well. So with all that in mind, how do we put the CSLP artwork on a cake? Um, you know, the first step is to just send me an email. Um, you know, include kind of what your library's name is, what state and town you're in. Let me know what you're trying to do. Are you putting it on a cake? Are you going to make some promotional flyers? Um, are you going to put it in your newsletter with something like that? You know, just let me know what you're hoping to do with the images. Let me know what image um, you're going to be using. Um, and, and do use the file name. That makes it a lot easier for me uh, to find the image. And also, I can put that in my uh, release form that I'd create for you. And also, let me know who you're partnering with. Are you going to be just making the cake in-house? Or are you having a local baker put it on? Um, just include that information as well. Um, as soon as I receive these, you know, it's pretty, I'll kind of review them. If it's something that's kind of duplicating something, I might give you some suggestions of how we might kind of uh, change that a little bit so that we're not sort of hurting our vendors um, or kind of in a conflict of, of, of with the rules of use. Um, but, you know, if, if it all looks good, and, and cakes, of course, always look good, um, I'll just draft a letter for you um, letting you know 
you know, if you're just making one cake, bearing the artwork. Um, so this would kind of serve as the copyright release form. Um, generally, these expire in 90 days, so that should give you plenty of time if you're planning to have kind of a wrap up to your summer reading program and you'd like to have a cake. Um, you know, we do ask that you kind of give us, uh, you know, give the CSLP some credit for their copyright. And that's not to say that you have to include the copyright symbol on your cake, because that might be kind of not what you want on a cake, but maybe put it on a piece of paper or something nearby the cake, um, just so everyone knows that, that we've kind of, uh, you know, you're using it for a sanctioned use um, and everything is on the up and up. As always, feel free to reach out to myself or Karen Day if you have any questions about the rules of use or any questions related to CSLP.